and I'll try to explain something to you which is very close to my heart again. This is my second speech and this is more like a continuation to my first speech that I did this <coughs> What I'm going to do is break my speeches into certain segments and I'll try to explain uh, what I believe in. In the end, you got to be your own hero because everyone else is busy trying to save themselves. Fellow mates, we have entered into the 21st century and things are changing fast. Things have been changing and things are changing every minute, hourly, daily, monthly, yearly. Change is inevitable. The only thing in life that is constant is change. You know, we humans, we always crave for new things, new findings. Innovation is the buzzword nowadays. Beat any industry. For instance, the telecom industry. 3G is history now. 4G, 5G, IoT, which is the Internet of Things, virtualization, cloud computing, the concept of smart cities, smart devices are taking the world by storm. And you know, beat any other industry for that instance, for that matter. Even at home, you know, we crave to create new dishes, which taste, which you taste well, which you know is something different, something new. Be it the furniture that is in our house. We want to, you know, change everything. This is human nature, basically. Now ponder for a minute. What does this change actually mean? Where it begins from? It begins from the human mind, to be very precise. We humans you know, always tend to bring new things into the play. We try to think out of the box. But how to think how to think out of the box? This is the main question here. So today I'm gonna to try to explain to you a very a small topic which is challenging the convention, which is more like breaking the shackles. Let's start with the shackles. How many of you know what a black sheep means? Being the black sheep of the family. You know, I'm a very confused person. I've always been a very confused person. You can call me a snuffy. I come from a middle class family where my father is an MSc in chemistry and he also did his brain technology engineering. My mother is an MA in Hindi. She was a teacher. My sister is an HR and did a an MBA. And I never wanted to do engineering. It was very, it was something very, you know, non-interesting for me. When I was young, I was, you know, pretty much I got carried away by little, small little things that I saw, that I, you know, watched. There was a time when I watched this movie called Hero Hira Lal, starring Nathil Din Shah. And I rushed into the living room and I, you know, told to my dad, Dad, you know, I want to be an auto chef right now. <coughs> my dad had this very peculiar thing about him. You know, whenever I said something weird, he knew that I'm a weird guy. So whenever I said something weird to him, he would look at me and point to her mother, point to my mother and say that, you gotta do something about him. And my mother would then take care of me, you know, give me a hand or two. Sort of. I got the dose of my own medicine, to be very precise. As I grew up, I my thinking changed, it evolved. I wanted to be a writer. Accidentally, I got into writing and I somehow, you know, did well in that. So I again went to my dad one day and I said, Dad, you know, I've completed my 10th board exams. I've scored an average percentage. Now I want to be a writer. I want to do something in the field of literature. And again, the same look. He looked at my mother and said, you've got to do something about him. And the same thing happened. I got into engineering and I'm not doing bad right now. That's what I want to say. But there's something which I believe in. 
it's very important for us to understand what we really want to do. I still, you know, believe that if I would have been into writing, I would have done something good. I still have that passion, and probably I'm going to take that forward in the coming years. Niranjan talked about Ichita Katyal uh, last time I, I watched her video, and I was very much impressed by the way she delivered her speech, and certain points it really touched me. She said that it's very important that we ask uh, the children what they should do, what they want to do now, not what they want to do when they grow up. That's very important. That's more like the conventional thoughts that we have in our mind, that we should actually try to come up with something new. See, passion, dreams, this, this is something which we, I believe, talk about every day. Passion is something which is very essential. It, 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 it differentiates us, us from animals, to be very precise. Animals are good nowadays, better than humans, by the way. But still, it differentiates us with animals. We can think. We can think about new things in general. So it's very important to have a dream. It's very important to have a passion about things that you love to do. How many of you know about this guy called Nick Budishi? He's a Polish guy, Nick Budishi. So Nick Budishi was born with a rare disorder. He has no limbs, no hands, no legs. And I'll tell you something about him. Today, if I will try to book him for a session here in Toastmasters, I will get his booking in 2019. He's booked for three years. He's such a great motivational speaker, one of the best of his kind. He has motivated a lot of people. So he has taken his special ability, not disability, special ability to a certain extent, where he's, you know, helping others to evolve. He, he also wrote that, you know, he keeps a pair of shoes in his closet due to his belief in miracles. That's all, that, that's, that's all, you know, it, it's up here in our mind. If, if we want to do something in our life, we can definitely do it. There's something I wanted to say. This guy can give you a job one day. Looks are deceptive, guys. Looks are deceptive. <laughs> you know, when I was young, in my college days, when I was my when I was in my third year, uh, I was more more like into you know speeches, extempore, and cultural and technical stuff. I was uh, uh, quite a uh, participant in it. And so once I got an opportunity to represent my college on a national level. So I went to NIT Jalandhar, and there I delivered an extempore on uh, a topic called page three. I stood second, and I was just I was just coming down the podium, and I just saw a guy approaching me. He was a long-haired guy. He had piercing. He was heavily tattooed, which was very uncommon at that point of time. Heavily tattooed, a butta on his left hand and a, a, a guitar on his right hand. And he came to me with a notebook, and he told me that, uh, "Can can I have your phone number? Can I have your offer ID? Can I have your details? I just want to." Wrote it down. I said that you know this is something. Why should I give it to you? And he told me that you know I have a habit of noting down the name of people whom I believe are interested. He sent me an awkward request thereafter. That's fine. When I passed my college, I got placed for the pro, and I didn't get my placement for like six months. Got six months. So when I, so some of my friends told me that you know I got to uh, there's a company called We Customers. Let's you know chip in. Let's give it a try. It's a good company, we'll have night shift, we'll have time for some time. So I went there for an interview, and you know, fortunately for me, when I crossed the third round, I went into, into the interview room and I found the same guy sitting there. He had short hair this time, he had piercing, still the same tattoo. And he took me in without any interview. See, see, I'm not promoting brotherhood, familyhood, or friendhood here. I'm not promoting that. What I'm saying is it's very important for us to meet new people. <coughs> it's very important for us to get to know them. Very important. Very Last but not the least, it's not about changing the world. Change one life instead. That's what I believe in. See, we all have that dream and we all have that passion. There was a time when I also wanted to change the world, but now I've changed as a person. I want to change a life, to be very precise. That's what I want to do. And it's very important for us to help others. You, are, you should always believe the fact that you are awesome. This is something that I believe in. Yeah, it's very true to be in short. And I just wanted to end my speech with a uh, <coughs> which is very uh, close to my heart. I think many of you might have seen the movie called Fight Club. This is very beautiful line which is there in Fight Club, which says that I say never be complete. I say stop being perfect. I say
say, let's evolve. That's the chip's fault. We're in the